welcome to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be playing with the natasha denona sunset palette i am excited to dig into this i've only dug in and dug into it once but i mentioned in my last video on friday with the new sephora collection i love palettes that i wasn't that impressed by this palette so today I really want to try to love this palette and I don't know if maybe it's the color scheme or the quality or what it is that doesn't really wow me about this because honestly when I look at this palette I see the yellow and the red and then I see these interesting like duochrome shimmer shades which is what really gets me all of the other colors I'm like man about so i already did most of my foundation and everything and i really want to bring out the yellow and the red so i pulled out the jeffree star equality liquid lipsticks in queen bee and red rum and i really want to use these on my eyes and try and come up with something cool <laughs> so First off, I'm gonna start out with Horizon, which is the Dead Set middle shade. And I'm not gonna do you guys in today because I'm mostly going to be playing around. This isn't going to be like a normal tutorial type video. I just kind of want to like sit here, see what I like, see what I don't like. I have no plan for this whatsoever. I don't know if this is gonna turn out really crappy or what's gonna happen. So I know Good Friday is coming up. Who is actually getting off of work for Good Friday? I'm interested in, cause I know my boyfriend's getting off. I kind of work on Friday, but I'm curious what everyone else is up to. I kind of want to do, I don't know what I want to do. I keep saying I kind of want to do this and I, I really don't know where I'm going with anything. And then I'm going to use the shade right above the yellow. What are you called? Tierra. I'm going to pack it right underneath this orangish shade. Also, Good Friday, uh, the 19th. Jeffree Star's concealers are coming out on the 19th. I haven't decided if I want to get them yet. I did watch the video. I am intrigued by the setting powder. I am intrigued that they don't crease. Mm, but then again, I also think to myself, like, do I really need it? Like, I literally just spent two other Fridays buying um, the Fenty stuff, the Jeffree Star Blue Blood collection, and then now there's concealer. So I'm kind of like, holy cow, overload on a bunch of stuff on Friday releases. But I'm really curious what you guys think. Do you think I should pick them up? Do you think I should try them out? Maybe I'll just save this palette for fall and then I'm just gonna explode with a bunch of tutorials on this palette. But there were a couple of Natasha Denona palettes that I really wanted for a while. And then I kind of just like grew out of it. And then I went to Sephora and I was just staring at this one and I was like, yeah, well, I've never tried it. It's a palette that I'd probably use somewhat. So like, I might as well just pick it up and try it out. I don't know. <laughs> and then I was debating on getting this one or another Pat McGrath palette, but I'd rather wait for a new Pat McGrath palette than one of her older ones. So I'm gonna hold the phone on that one. And now I'm gonna take the deepest brown shade, Igneous. That one on the bottom and whoa i picked up a lot this is the one that i used in my well i didn't do a video on it but the first time that i used this natasha denona palette this was the first brown shade that i used and it was not working out for me whatsoever i don't know why but it's pretty it's a really deep chocolate brown but it just wasn't screaming my name or anything where did that brush just go? It just vanished. Okay, so I like how this eye kind of goes out into an angle. I almost just dipped into my Fenty bronzer. Uh, we're not using that on our eyes today. I'm gonna try and do that with this eye. But I feel like this just, 
Mm, I don't know. I've been trying so many palettes and then I still never really got a lot of good use out of my, my James Charles palette. I'm just gonna go back into all three of those shades and intensify them. But like, I don't know what it is about that James Charles palette, but I kind of feel the same way about the James Charles palette as I do with this one. Like, I know this is a good palette and I know this is a popular palette, but for some reason it like doesn't really call my name that much like I'm just kind of like man I'll use it but like it's not my favorite but like Sephora collection palettes I've been really reaching for those and my Elf J Kissa palette I've been re reaching for that one I have been reaching for the Blue Blood palette I reach for my Alien palette I still reach for my Subculture palette that's probably my all-time favorite palette. I love that palette. So now we're gonna get funky with some yellow. <laughs> so I have the yellow from the Jeffree Star Equality Mini Liquid Lipstick Set in Queen Bee. And I'm just gonna take it on the back of my hand. Oh, as soon as I find a brush. So I really just wanna take a little bit. Oh, she is pigmented. Okay, I want to like lightly blend it into there and kind of do a cut crease. I don't know. But this is like what I use these Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks for. I rarely use the yellow on my eye or on my lips. I always use them on my eyes. I got my general shape going on here. Now I'm going to take the yellow in the Natasha Denona palette and I'm gonna first go over the edges. See, this Natasha Denona yellow eyeshadow is such an interesting color. Like it's not, it doesn't make anything like a neon yellow. It definitely like tones everything like down. Like it's a good transition shade yellow, but I feel like if you wanna make it pop, you really have to have like a white base or a yellow base otherwise I feel like it just doesn't really want to show up all right we're gonna put the brown back on top so I'm gonna start with that really dark brown shade and go a little bit over that yellow I wanted to have like a smoother transition into the yellow not so harsh like I want it to be like a waterfall. Now I'm gonna move on to my lower lash line and I'm first gonna start off with that orange shade that we had started off with in the crease. Uh, Horizon, that's what it's called. Okay, I'm liking this palette more right now because I feel like all the colors that I'm using are working, they're blending, nothing's being like weird on me. And then taking that really dark shade, going right in the inner corner there. I wanna do something with that red. I'm gonna start off with just the red eyeshadow and put it on my outer corner and blend it in with that orange. Ooh. Oh man, this is hard. I wanna do something a little bit more unique than this, but I'm not sure what I'm trying to get at it with it. So now I'm going to take the light pink shade out of this palette, which is this one, and I'm going to go and blend everything out on my lower lash line, and I'm going to take the Red Rum liquid lipstick on the back of my hand, and I think I want to go over this cut crease. I have to put my arms on the table for this, y'all. I don't... Mm. Oh, I already messed up. Maybe I can just make it look like a flame. But can I do this on the other side? I don't know. <laughs> that is as similar as I could probably make them. So we're just gonna leave it like that. And now I wanna add a little bit of shimmer. So I'm gonna take this light kind of gold shimmer shade right in this palette. And I'm gonna put that right on my inner corner. Ooh, I like that orange. 
orange underneath that shade. Now I want to take a mix of these two shades on the top in between the yellow and the brown. And then going back in with that really dark brown, blending it over the shimmer. And then I really want to put this kind of rosy shimmer shade on the bottom of that yellow where my lash line is just right here kind of tying in the red maybe and then taking that dark brown along my lower lash line making it look like a, a little bit more smoky and then i'm gonna take the lightest white shimmer shade onto my brow bone all right i'm going to put some mascara and lashes on and i'm gonna be right back all right, a little recap. I threw on a little bit of mascara and I'm using the Crave Lashes in the style Cream Puff for the first time. I'm really liking these eyelashes because the main problem when I have with eyelashes is that I feel like since my eyes are a little bit more hooded, that if I do something like this, that it's gonna be hard for me to see past the eyelashes. And with this one, they're so chunky, but still voluminous at the lash line, I love them. So I put those on, feeling myself, I feel like a phoenix. But then after I put the eyelashes on, I forgot that I did not put highlighter on. So I took the Fenty Beauty and Mo Honey and I put that all over my cheekbones there because it still has that like coppery kind of warmth to it. And then for my lips, I took the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle Lipstick in Tiger Teeny. Y'all know I love orange lipstick. So um, I hope you guys had a little bit of fun trying to see me really experiment. With this look, I feel like I like this palette because I like how pigmented and easy. You know, I never even like zoomed you guys in on what the heck was going on in my eyes. So I... I don't know if the eyelashes are completely dry. So if you see a little bit of glue, whatever. But um, I have that darkest shade up against my inner corner, faded into the darker brown into that orange. And then I have that shimmer shade mixed together on the middle with that kind of pink tying in with the red on the outer corner. I think my eyes look super green with this. I like how the yellow layered up loving these eyelashes so much the lipstick but let me know what you guys think i think i really like this i'm thinking i want to do a couple more looks on my channel with this palette to try and do like something so i did the crazy stuff but i want to see like on an everyday basis what i would gravitate towards so over the next like two weeks, I think I'm just going to film different eye looks with this palette and maybe get two or three looks into one video. Let me know if you would like that video. Give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to let me know about the Jeffree Star concealers and setting powders. I'm really debating on if I should get it if you guys are interested in it because I'm a little bit on the fence. Like I'm interested, but then again, I'm like, wow, I... I'm trying out a new foundation and concealer right now. So the concealer and the foundation that I have on right now, which I am liking this foundation, but I feel like since summer is coming up, it's like on the very, very, very fine line of almost being too light for me, but it's the Ila, Isla True Skin Serum Foundation lightweight and smoothing aloe infuse which looks like that i do like this foundation it is very liquidy it is very very lightweight i don't feel it on my face at all but as you can probably see it creases in my fine lines but not as much as i'm used to and then i'm also trying out the rms beauty uncover up concealer and i have been surprisingly really addicted to this concealer. I tried it out once and since I tried it, I haven't been using any other concealers because I feel like this one just makes my under eyes look so good. Like it covers up 
the darkness, but it's not going into my fine lines. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look like super textured. It literally does its job. And I like the color of it, though I don't know if there's like a bunch of silica in this. I have to look it up. In some pictures, I feel like this gives me a little bit too much white under my eyes. It could be the color, it could have silica in it. I don't really know. I have to look that up. But I have been trying this out and I will be doing a video on some new foundations and concealers soon as well. Stay tuned for that. Not for anything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have fun watching me turn myself into a phoenix. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.